So what is sin? Let's get to the definition of sin. What is sin? If sin is the mother of all the problems, we need to get that right to get the life right, get all the problems in life right. What is sin? Sin is not necessarily committing some great crime like robbing a bank or killing somebody or committing adultery or some great uh, sin and, and practicing some kind of evil vice or something like that. Not necessarily. All those other things, all those things, criminal activities and vices and, pra and evil habits, they're all the things that sin gives birth to. They come as a result of sin. If you have sin, then all these things come. But actually sin is not that. Sin is much greater than that. It's at the bottom of that. It's the foundation for these things that happen. What is sin then? Let me define sin. It is failing to give God his rightful place in our lives. He is our creator. We are creatures. Sin is failing to give God his rightful place. The place that belongs to him in our life. What is the place that belongs to him? Number one place. He must be the most important person in our life because, because of him I'm here, I'm breathing, I'm living. He gave me life. He's my creator. Without him I'm nothing. He made me. So he must have the top priority, number one place in our lives. So sin is a failure to give God the right place in our lives. And also it is... Sin is leading our lives in such a way that we don't bring glory to God as His created beings. See, we live and we don't bring any glory to God. We don't live for the glory of God who made us. That is sin. So it is failure to give the right place to God that he deserves as our creator and the failure to glorify God in every way. That is what sin is basically. Now a lot of people in the world are unhappy about Christians because Christians are calling everybody sin, sinner. So they are saying, well, these Christians are bad because they are calling everybody in the world sinners. We are not sinners. We are good people. So let me clarify to those people that are out there watching and, and maybe there are some of them are sitting here. You know, they have always thought that uh, Christians are calling others sinners. Please understand how some of our people have not explained it before, maybe. Let me explain it. We don't mean, you know, that you're a very bad person, an evil person or something like that. You may be a good person in terms of, uh, you know, when you look at it in the worldly sense. What we are saying is there is no place. God does not have his rightful place in your life. That's sin. And you don't glorify God by your life. That is what sin is. You see, sin is leading your life as you like, having no place for God and living for your own glory and for your own sake. You're living for your own sake. And that is what sin is. Bible defines sin in that way. And you can understand very well how that is the root cause of all problems.